Come on, Roach. Whoa there, oh. Roach. Oh! What's all this? Not your concern, that's what. Not an expert or anything, but you two look like you could use some help. Aye, it's true, we could. Barn's full up with some manner of beast. Barred them inside, but that won't hold long. And we'll be in a world of woe once they're loose. We're not rich, but cut the filth down, and we will pay you. Fine, I'll try to help you. We'll let you in the barn, then open the doors once it's over. Quick, Master Witcher, or they'll get out! Open the door. Job's done. True enough. Here's your pay. And thanks for your help. Farewell. Slow now, whoa. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A box and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Like at a toad-shaped medal? The army's don't got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you alright? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> 
We're conducting important business. Yous can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? Uh, well, all that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. Oh, aye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why is that? Because when you get cut in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. You're a lucky bastard, witch. We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? Sorry, none of your business. Come on. There's some kind of secret. You embarrassed. She's quite fetching and you're, well, none too handsome, but a witcher. Ass is like your type. Come now, fess up, you fancy her or not? There's no denying her beauty. But she's not my type. <laughs> Talking out your ass, mate. Passing on quite the catch. She looked at me like she does you. I'd not dally long thinking. Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you. In Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilf Guardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adirnian, Elves, Dwarves, Halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Uh, yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out and I was press-ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. Yeah, classic Radovid. Can't complain, really. I've lived at home since the fighting subsided, resumed my practice, and simply treat the ill. Though I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani, I need your help this time. Hmm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right. Tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri Duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Met him a while back in White Orchard. At the time, he claimed he dealt in mirrors. Mirrors? Buy one from him that grants your wishes? Something like that. He helped me out of a bind. And now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. 
Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or Famous Rudanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estiken, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance.
Not so fast, Roach. markings on it. I'd find someone who could explain them to me. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? 
Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Didn't know you were getting married? <laughs> not mine, silly. My friends. This garland's not for me. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. home was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah, too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If there's any trouble, just yell. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Sure hope so. Should look around. Hmm. Probably shouldn't touch that. Vladimir von Everek. 
son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Life and death, fire and blood. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voting fire. <laughs> 